Hey guys, first and weather here. It's March 18th, 2018. We're only two days away from spring, but it's certainly not feeling like it. Temperatures have been running well below average for March uh, in the southeast and mid-Atlantic, and that trend looks like it's going to continue for the next week or so. But the main story right now is the potential for a mid-Atlantic snowstorm, uh, which is a, which would possibly affect the region Tuesday night into Wednesday. And right now I have the GFS model pulled up. This is the 18Z model run. And let's get right to it. So this is 12Z Monday, so tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., 8 a.m. And th the model is indicating that we could see a few light rain showers starting to move into the area around 8 or 9 p.m. Monday night. And that rain will become more widespread and, he and become more heavy as we head into, into w early Tuesday morning. And then uh, it's the model is indicating that we can see a very heavy burst. We could we could see um, a heavy burst of rain uh, early morning Tuesday, and that rain should lighten up by uh, the early afternoon hours of Tuesday. And by the late afternoon, it's out of here. But the main question is the intensity of this low and the area of formation intensity of this low will determine our chances for snow for Wednesday. And so it's quite uh, certain that our chances uh, for snow with this first system on Tuesday are quite low, uh, simply because there won't be any warm air wrapped around it. But as this low departs, cold air will become wrapped around it, leaving a setting the stage for this to produce snow in our area right here. Now, um, we're going to have the cold air in place, but the main factor is where will this track and uh, which and that will determine how much precipitation we do see out of the system. So if we take this through, the GFS model has a little nice area of snow forming early Wednesday morning, which comes through central Virginia as very light snow. And then we see a little break, and then we see some more uh, wraparound snow coming in uh, late Wednesday night. And if we go to the total snowfall, um, the model has significantly backed off on snow. If, we, if I go to the previous run, it was saying good two inches, and before that, a good two inches before that, two inches before that, two inches, and so it was. It was constantly saying two inches, and now it's steadily decreased to a dusting to an inch at most. And the steady and it's consistently shown um, significant snowfall for this area. And the European model is also showing something quite similar, except it's showing heavier snows for areas closer to DC. But both models have. Um, really similar pictures and then the NAM for some reason did something really weird today for the 18Z run so I'm just not going to pay attention to the NAM model right now I think it's just an outlier uh, and it's, it should fix itself in the next couple of days but um, it's looking like as of now uh, that um, we could see the chance for a few for a period of light snow early Wednesday morning which will then um, lighten up and then we'll see another period of very light snow uh, Wednesday evening and Again, the timing of this is also very critical because if this snow occurs in the daytime, it's going to have a very hard time sticking, especially since it's going to be so light because temperatures will be above freezing, the high March sun angle, and the light snow will make it very hard, if not impossible, for the snow to stick. So we need the snow to come in the morning and the and um, which to bring the highest chance of accumulating snow. So uh, any time from around 4 a.m. to 10 a.m., where temperatures are still around freezing, the sun the sun really isn't up uh, yet, so uh, the snow will have much will have a much easier time uh, to stick, and it will also increase the chances for school cancellations. Right now, I think um, my confidence level is not too high when it comes to snowfall amounts, but I have created a first guess map on how much snow we could potentially see, and uh, here it is. So right now I'm thinking in the Richmond area and um, Central Virginia, uh, due to the snow being light and breaking up on Wednesday, uh, I think we're going to see anywhere from a dusting to an inch of snowfall. In this blue area right here, I think you can see anywhere from 1 to 3 inches of snow. And then in this purple area, I think you can see anywhere from 2 to 5 inches. And then in this yellow area, I think you're going to see about... Uh, at, at most a coating of snow and this is uh, again this is a really preliminary forecast uh, we're still quite a few days we're still uh, a few days out so a lot is going to change that trust me on that a lot of it a lot of this forecast will change and I'll update you uh, as it does um, and so uh, this forecast will change and I'll update you on that but uh, right now I'm thinking a dusting to an inch is the most likely bet for our area uh, especially since temperatures will be a little bit, a little bit above freezing, and um, the snow will be very light. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll make sure to update you, 
and um, in future videos in the next couple of days I'll talk more in depth about the setup of the system and uh, why we're seeing this type of event this late in the month and, and really, oh sorry about that guys my mic just fell but I'll talk about uh, why we're seeing the system late so late in the month and um, uh, why a lot of things are going against us in future videos so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions feel free to com uh, comment in the comment section below and I'll see you next time